Hello everyone, this lesson is about current versus potential difference graphs for components, sometimes called IV graphs or IV characteristics. Learning outcomes know how different components respond when a potential difference is applied. Interpret IV graphs for resistor, filament lamp, diode and thermistor. As a start activity, I'd like you to pause the video and calculate the combined resistance for these three circuits shown here. So if you can now self-mark your work, circuit 1, you should have 5 ohms, circuit 2 is 35 ohms, and circuit 3 is 75 ohms. Check your working and correct as needed. Quick revision of resistance. Resistance is the opposition that a substance offers to the flow of electric current. It is measured in ohms, a, name, a unit named after George Ohm, shown here. The resistance of a component can be calculated using the equation resistance equals voltage divided by current. I'm sure you are familiar with this equation. There are components called resistors which have a fixed value of resistance. There's one shown in the picture here. Um, and the colour of the bands uh, determine, help you to work out what value of resistor you've got in front of you. Um, but essentially this equation is true uh, for any component and really under any circumstances you could do a calculation of resistance. Ohm's law tells us that the current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across it, provided the temperature is constant. And that's an important um, caveat really to this law. So when the temperature is constant, we find uh, for a conductor, the resistance is constant. And what that means is, that when we increase the potent, uh, potential difference across the component, the current increases in proportion uh, to it. And the equation V equals I times R then takes the form of Y equals KX. So because R is constant, we've then got a constant of proportionality. So if you look at the graph just sketched here in green, Y equals KX is sketched on the right, Y against X, where k is the gradient, which is constant. Um, if a component is ohmic, uh, follows Ohm's law, then if we plot v against i, then we get a constant uh, straight line passes through the origin, uh, which has a gradient of r, which is the resistance of the component. If the temperature changes, this changes the resistance of the conductor, and Ohm's law does not apply. We are now going to look at the current voltage graphs for different components. For a resistor, which is a fixed value resistor, you can see we've got a straight line here which passes through the origin, plotting I against V. Current increases in proportion to voltage. We call this an ohmic conductor. So a fixed value resistor or a, a piece of metal wire would follow this relationship. Any conductor, as long as it's at a constant temperature, if we were to plot resistance against potential difference, we'd see that we had a constant value of resistance. It's a straight horizontal line across. For the filament lamp, we get something different when we plot I against V. So we can see here that the graph is curving. The graph curves showing that resistance is increasing. As voltage increases, the bulb gets hotter and resistance increases. This is a non-ohmic conductor meaning that it doesn't follow Ohm's law. What would a graph of R against V look like for the filament lamp? So at low voltages we might see a short horizontal section where resistance is constant, um, but then on either side we'd see resistance increasing as we increased potential difference. For the diode shown on the left here, the IV graph um, would look like the one drawn here. So what this is showing us is that a diode only lets current go in a forward direction. So if it's connected the other way around, so reverse biased, then the diode doesn't conduct and no current flows. When it's a forward biased, um, a small uh, voltage is required to actually make it to start 
to conduct. So that's about 0 0.6 volts and, and beyond 0 0.6 uh, the diode will, um, current will flow in the diode. As we increase potential difference, current will increase. For thermistor shown on the right, we can see we've got a curving graph, but it's the other way around to a filament lamp. The graph curves showing that resistance is decreasing. Resistance decreases as the negative temperature coefficient thermistor gets hotter. Factors affecting conductivity. Materials that conduct have charged particles that are free to move. Solids have particles, molecules, atoms and ions in fixed positions that vibrate and impede the flow of free electrons that can move to form a current. Heating a metal causes increased ionic vibration that impedes flow of electrons. Resistance of a metal increases with temperature for this reason. Conductivity of semiconductors. Semiconductors have far fewer free electrons. Fewer electrons are able to move to form a current, represented in the diagram shown here. Heating a thermistor creates many more free electrons and increases conductivity. This type of, con of thermistor is called a negative temperature co coefficient, NTC, thermistor. Some semiconductors have a positive temperature coefficient and their resistance increases with temperature. Sketch the circuit diagram that you would use to measure the resistance of a component. This is the standard diagram. So the circuit diagram should have a power supply as shown. It should have the component with, which could be a resistor, but it could be one of the other components, with an ammeter in series to measure the current and a voltmeter in connected in parallel to measure the potential difference across the component. To switch from positive to negative, because we want to plot negative values of potential difference as well, we'd simply switch the leads over on the power pack, which would reverse the polarity of the power pack and send the current round the other way through the component. We can then record results and plot a IV graph for both positive and negative values of potential difference. So the experiment that you would do in class, and you may well have done this at GCSE, is to set up this circuit and plot the IV graphs for the components resistor, filament lamp, and diode. For the diode, I do not go above six volts. Here is a uh, past exam question for you to try covering today's material. Pause the video and have a go at this, writing your answers down. This is now part C of the same question. Pause the video and have a go at this. So now I'd like you to self-mark your answers to this question. There's a total of seven. Um, carefully mark it and make any corrections that you need to make. So here are the success criteria I would like you to check your learning. Can you identify and interpret IV graphs for components, resistor, filament lamp, diode, and thermistor? Can you explain using Ohm's law why some components are ohmic and others are non-ohmic? Do you understand that temperature increases the resistance of the conductor but can decrease the resistance of a semiconductor, e.g. an NTC thermistor.